Go to the story of the feeding of the 5,000. As far as we know, there's one person in the whole group that has any food there that day. Nobody else came with food. They didn't expect to be there that long. But one little boy had a great mama. And she sent him to that little event with, some, with a little lunchbox, and he had five loaves and two fish in it. And somehow these burly disciples spotted him and realized, this boy's got something. And maybe Jesus can do it's a little bit, but maybe Jesus can do something with this. He asks us to feed everybody. This is the only food we can find around here. So can you imagine the moment when Peter, when Philip and Andrew walked up to this boy and said, Boy, let me see your lunch. <laughs> oh, you got five loaves and two. Come with me. Okay. And they bring him to Jesus, and there's an exchange of his five loaves and two fish into the hands of Jesus. He had to give it up before the need was met. From everything we see in the story, he freely gave his entire lunch to Jesus. His entire lunch. He did not try to negotiate with Jesus. He didn't say, Jesus, I got five loaves, two fish. How about I give you two? Jesus said, no, let's go four. And they met in the middle at, middle at three. They didn't negotiate. Okay. There was no negotiation at all. Jesus said, I want it all. Okay. I want everything that you've got. This, that's all you've got, but I want you to give it to me. Because if you'll give it to me, I'm going to bless it. I'm going to divide it. And everybody's going to have enough. But you're going to have to take a step of faith and trust me. Amen. You have to trust that when you give this to me, that I can do something with it. I would submit to you this morning, it's obviously very true. We would not even have the story, that story in the Bible if that little boy had not given his lunch. There's one hero in the story, and his name is Jesus, but there's a sub-hero in the story, and his name is the little boy. I can't wait to meet that little boy in heaven, can't you? He's got a t-shirt on that says, I'm the five loaves and two fish guy. Okay. Everybody's going to know him, okay? We'd never have that story in the Bible had he not done that. The widow at Zarephath? If she'd said, Elijah, you're crazy. I, I'm, I'm not going to bake you any cake first. What are you talking about? But instead, she goes and does this. She gives out of faith. And in giving out of faith, the miracle is released. I hope that I can teach you today something that will radically change your life. Paul re re said it this way in Acts chapter 20. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. Okay? Amen. 